This week, I got some work done on the wingtips, leading edges, flaperons, and pedo. Not a whole lot, but definitely getting close to being done with these wings, which I am very excited about. So, enjoy. Got both leading edges, Laker leading edges on both wings. They have been body filled and the work has been done so they're sanded smooth. Not a single seam left on this thing. You can see what I was talking about in terms of there being three pieces. There's this piece which you have to cut to fit number five, this piece which you cut to fit rib number, I believe that's nine, and then this little short piece that goes between nine and ten. So there's, the manual just says rib five. I'm assuming the wing in the past was shorter so they haven't updated it since then, but that's how this works out. This little section of the leading edge was bowing out right here after I glued it, and I didn't notice until I pulled the tape off. So the way I solved that problem was I cut a slit all the way up to here until the pressure relieved and that bow came out, and I ended up having to sand down a little bit of material so they closed together all the way, and then went in and filled it with body filler. But that actually relieved my pressure Instead of having to cut out this high solid section here, I just put a slit all the way up and then filled it in. You can't even tell it's there. Perfectly smooth and it made the bottom edge nice and uniform. Little PVC extrusions are on. Those I fit on with the leading edge template and had to sort of cut and shape them down. My high saw work ended up getting in the way of having these perfectly smooth, but I ended up cutting the corners off there and I had to cut the little inner leg out on the other side because it was touching the high saw against the, against the edge of the rib. Okay, so I mounted my pedo mount plate. I opted for the Garmin pedo tube option. You can get it from Kit Fox. I should have just bought all this stuff from Aircraft Spruce. I was just a little bit intimidated. I didn't know what I needed. But if I had to buy it from Aircraft Spruce, I'd just buy one of these that works with the Garmin, the Garmin pedo tube they'll have these holes pre-drilled for you. So the pedo tube actually gets screwed in at the bottom. I'm gonna have to line those holes up and drill them myself, which I'd rather have it drilled ahead of time. Um, but I got this plate mounted in, which is the same as the plate they provide in the kit. They just send you another one. And then they send you a little bit more plumbing because the Garmin pedo tube is also an AOA. So there's pedo and AOA plumbing. Once I get the pedo tube in, I'll actually fit the aluminum. I think I need a flaring tool. I haven't figured that out yet. Um, still trying to figure that one out. But I think I need to flare the end of the tubes and then put the plumbing in and have to run little Tigon tubing, which is little airlines, all the way to the rear spar on the outs, outboard end and then run the tubing all the way back to the rear spar to the, to the fuselage. So this is gluing in place. My rib spacing was a little bit off, so I had to fill that gap with high saw. And I'm waiting for this to dry now. It's currently taped in place, drying slowly. But once I get my pedo tube, I'll have that thing fit and ready to roll. I got one of my wing tips almost ready to roll. It takes some trimming on the end. You have to trim this edge so that it lines up with the actual wing. And then I've got to do some foam work on the bottom. I'm still trying to figure out what needs to be done there. Um, but we'll let you know when we get that done. This tube doesn't, it didn't, at least for me, fit in there right out of the box. Let me pull it out. You can see this is a process. Okay, so I couldn't get this tube to fit into the spar the first time. It went in very, I thought it just needed to be sort of wiggled in there, but I ended up cracking the tube a tiny bit on the end, which helps me get it in and out now, and it's not broken. But the way I solved that problem was just sanding the heck out of this. And it still probably needs a little bit more sanding. So every time I pull it out, I note where the high spots are. As you can see, there's a line right there on this piece. So I'll sand that line off, and then eventually it slides in. It's still difficult, but it eventually fits in after sanding this tube a while. The wingtip mounts on with that fiberglass tube and also these aluminum pieces that go on the end, which I lined up, 
drilled and clecoed as I went. Cut, lined up, then drilled and clecoed. And then I went and countersucked the top of all these holes so that the flush rivets sit nice and smooth. The way I countersink, I don't have a really wide angle, angle countersink. I use this, what is it, 17, 7 16 inch bit. And I just do, you know, two turns on slow until it's uh, the right width. This has to be done before, I'm going through the pre-covering checklist. So these are all things that have to be done before I cover. And this is one of them. Another thing I got done with this, at least the right wing, the left wing still needs this, are these flapper on hinge brackets. Um, it was a two person job. My friend Michael came and helped me out. You actually clamp the flapper on hinge brackets on the number nine and five and get them perfectly parallel by measuring. And then um, once you get those on, you drill them, clico them, and you can mount the other ones in place. One of the things that's a little vague in the manual is this number one flapper on hinge bracket doesn't, the manual tells you to, basically gives you a set of instructions to fit the horn, the, the control horn that actually controls the flaperons. And then it says, wait, 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 don't do that. That's not done until after covering. But this number one flapper on hinge bracket has to go on before you cover. You have to pre-drill the holes. So none of these actually get permanently mounted, including the wingtips, until the covering goes on. But you have to drill the hole first before covering goes on. Uh, I'm not 100% certain why that is. I guess you aren't supposed to drill through the fabric. Here's the number one flapper on hinge, which you had to, I had to cut these bushings here, which are little PVC pipes, tubes that you slide underneath the actual hinge bracket. And then there's a little aluminum clamp that goes on. And then this is the actual horn it tells you, it gives you the instructions to go through and rig it and fit it. And then it says, don't do any of that until you're done covering. So um, I almost disregarded it, but you actually need to put this on and line it up to drill the hinge bracket in place. But while I was trying to attach them all, I couldn't figure out why I couldn't get all the, any of the bolts through. And then I realized that every single one of those little holes on the hinge brackets needs to be reamed. So not a whole lot done but I'm getting really close to covering. Just a few things left on just the, actually the left wing, the right wing is ready to cover. Left wing, I just have a pedo and the flapper on hinge brackets and the pedo plumbing. And this one's good to go after that. So I'm gonna focus on these, get them ready to cover. And then we'll, we'll move on to the covering next week probably. See if I can get the, all the small surfaces covered. And then after that, I'm going to focus on <clears throat> finishing up the fuselage, which only has a few more things left. So yeah, moving along.